Oh, hi. <laughs> Okay, welcome to tonight's video. Um, we're, I have some friends in town. This is my friend Ashley and Brianna, and we are going to do a quick Q&A, and uh, we had some questions come in, so we have some answers for y'all, a presentation to show you, and lots of content to share your way. So with that, Miss Brianna is going to lead the way and show you guys some stuff. So first thing I want to talk about is that we as Americans are unhealthy. Um, one in four will die of heart disease. One in two women and one in three men will develop cancer. One in three will have diabetes by 2050. One in three children are obese. Children are more harmed by poor diet than by exposure to drugs, alcohol, and tobacco combined. Think about that guys, just for a second. How much of this is preventable by eating a healthy diet? by exposing ourselves to healthy choices, not eating all the fast foods most available, not becoming victim to the families that we're raised in. There's just so many kids I see out McDonald's every night because it's easy, it's affordable, it's cheap, I get it, but think for the long term. That's right, and you come from a medical background, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and I see it a lot, you know, working in the clinic, working in the ambulance, I see a lot of kids who are just constantly fed high fat, high carb, high cholesterol, and you know, they're 80, 90, 100% their body weight, and they, and they shouldn't be. And it's hard to watch them suffer for something that they have no control over. Right. Yeah, and DNA is not your destiny. We have some dog friends out here with us too that are enjoying the show. <laughs> Okay, so environmental toxins are increasing, and y'all, this isn't anything new. Examples are pollution, water contaminants, pesticides, chemicals, medications, RX and over-the-counter, skin and hair care products, plastics. Did you know you should be drinking out of glass bottles? Today I went to the grocery store and I tried to buy a glass bottle of like a tea or a water, and I couldn't find anything but plastic to drink out of. You guys, the more we know, the more we can prepare, and the better we can protect ourselves and our family, plus the environment. Who doesn't love that? Absolutely. It's so true. Um, and the worst thing is a lot of the skincare products that we use have thousands of chemicals in them. I think yeah. in Europe, they have banned over 2,000, and in the United States, we're still in double digits. So it's something that is a continuing to be an issue. Um, but on top of that, another issue that we're having is our food quality is decreasing. 90% of the food in America is processed. Um, it has preservatives, flavor enhancers, emulsifiers, synthetic vitamins, GMO, less nutrients, pesticides, um, trans fats, artificial colors, growth hormones. 80% of foods in grocery stores didn't exist 100 years ago. Broccoli has lost 80% of its nutritional wow. value. That's just broccoli. But on top of that, most of the fruits and vegetables that you're buying, even in the organic section, is 40% less nutrient dense because they're picked way before their prime peak ripeness. And that way they have time to travel from the big farm that it comes from to the store near you and still have a shelf life. That's why they go bad so fast once you get them home. Yes. So it is an uphill battle. So the question is, what can we do to be healthier? I could talk to him blue in the face about all the things that you guys and I know about exercise, drink water. Man, guys, nobody drinks enough water. They say if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Right. So drink, um, sleep seven, eight hours a night. Laughable, right? Because a lot of us have kids or four jobs, but do your best. Manage your stress the best you can. I don't know what you guys like to do. I'm a weird houseplant lady, so I like to take care of my plants. Um, environmental changes, simple things like instead of getting Windex for your windows, try to get something more natural. Vinegar. 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 Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Um, eat real food, man. What you guys put in your body should be should be alive. You're alive. Don't put dead stuff in your body. Eat real food. That's right. You are what you eat. Yes. Don't um, be cheap, easy, or fake. Don't be cheap, <laughs> easy, or fake. This morning I used apple cider vinegar on my hair, and I got to tell you, it felt amazing. Yep. Yeah, so let's focus on fruits and vegetables because, again, 75% of diseases are preventable with good nutrition. Ashley said it best earlier, your DNA is not your destination. It doesn't have to be. The better you eat, the more fruits, the more vegetables, the more raw foods that you eat, it's all it's doing is preventing inflammation and going to help your body heal, operate at a better level. You're just going to feel so much better. 
That is so true. And just to kind of give you an idea of why, oxidative stress and the antioxidants. So oxidative stress, that's just like the wrinkles we get from too much sun exposure or age. Um, the bad news, obviously it call, causes age and disease, aging and disease. There's 10,000 oxidative hits to DNA per cell per day in humans caused by poor nutrition, medications, smoking, stress, environmental toxins, exercise, even pregnancy. But the good news is antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables protect the cells from oxidative stress. You see here in the middle, it's an apple. So when you cut an apple in a half and you leave it on the counter, it's going to brown just like our skin browns and ages with time. But if you cut that apple in half and you apply lemon or lime juice to it, it doesn't brown as fast. That's because it's getting those antioxidants to keep it fresh and young. What a good example. <laughs> Always goes brown. Right? What a great idea. Right. So that's why that the news isn't that fruits and vegetables are good for you, that it's so good for you that it could save your life. In the long run, once you catch a high blood pressure, you catch a high cholesterol, you catch a heart murmur, the problem is the damage has been done. So think long-term about what you can do to prevent it. Um, the more you can prevent, the younger that you are, the longer that you live. And nobody wants to hear that they have a, you know, a death sentence or that this is what you have to deal with for the next couple of years. Or you're gonna be on 10 medications. Just, just stop that process really early. So true. So we need at least seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables every day, 16 to 18 servings for athletes or soldiers such as Ashley. Why are so many? Because produce is picked too early, transported thousands of miles, 90% of Americans don't eat enough servings and we don't get enough variety from the rainbow. So I'm gonna vent for a second. I live up here in Montana in the middle of nowhere and all the fruits and vegetables that come up here are brown. Nothing is full of color. Nothing is bright. Um, everything is is picked before its peak ripeness because it has to make it here before it's rotten. So really, we're just not getting the quality that we used to get. So again, guys, the more servings you can get in your body, the better off you're going to be. Amen. And like she said, seven to 13 for healthy adults, 16 plus for athletes. I was an active duty military member and I was injured and had to have seven surgeries. So somebody who is combating heart disease, cancer, excess inflammation, we need more. We need 16 to 18 servings, the size of your fist. That's crazy. That's a full-time job just trying to eat fruits and vegetables because you know, now with them not being as nutrient dense as they used right. to be, we need so many more. So. 70% of Americans are trying to fill the gaps with a multivitamin. Vitamin. The vitamin has very few isolated nutrients. An apple has approximately 10,000 phytonutrients working in synergy. Research shows that vitamins may do more harm than good. And research, research shows that whole foods protect our bodies. So let's think about vitamin C. Vitamin C is a isolated phytonutrient. That means in a lab, they took one of these off this huge list of phytonutrients and they isolated it. So if you notice when you take a lot of multivitamins, your, um, your urine will change colors because your body is processing them out as fast as possible because it's at an amount that your body doesn't recognize as food. Also, it's used to having all of its buddies, all of these phytonutrients working together as a team to help you out. So whole food is the way to go. Yes. So what the Juice Plus community provides in the Healthy Revolution is we have multiple different options. We have salad in a jar meal prep for those people that like to do meal preps, make their week a little bit easier if you're a busy mama or have tons to do, yeah. which yes, understand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's free e-recipes that you can find online. Um, uh, Start Strong Kids program, which I'm a huge fan of for my five-year-old daughter. She loves all the benefits of that. Um, and monthly health webinars so we can constantly learn and educate ourselves on how to be better. Mm -hmm. And I found those nothing but completely beneficial since right. my Juice Plus journey. You know, I did uh, meal prep and we did salad in a jar and it was so successful. And you can get your salad in a jar in any size. They can be husband size, they can be child size, they can be whatever size you deem necessary. You get to manipulate all elements of the environment so you create the perfect salad for the whole week. On the way out the door, you just grab it out of the refrigerator, throw it in your purse and take it to work. It's amazing. 
speeds up your morning, cuts time in half. I don't have to worry about it. Kids love it. It's just a win. How about not worrying about having to cook something yeah. at the second of the day? It's a healthy, fast food. Yeah. It's fast. It's healthy. Yep. In this monthly health webinars, we just recently had one that talked about immune health and it explained how your immune system gets taxed and how sugar and stress can tank your immune mm -hmm. system and how to just be the healthiest version of yourself. So each month, it's just amazing content for you to learn how to be the best version of yourself. So definitely check those out. Was this me? Okay, so this one is going to be, we just want you to make one simple change. Okay, it's a way to add in the nutrition from over 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries to your diet. There's, the whole foods are harvested at the peak of ripeness, so the nutrition is intact. Produce, including some peels, level, <laughs> leaves, and seeds, is juiced and dried into powders. Plant powders are put into capsules or delicious chewables, and the Omega Blend bypasses the fish and goes straight to the algae berries and the seeds. Yeah, you guys, so I don't know what you did the last time you ate an orange, but if you didn't eat the peeling of that orange, you didn't get all the nutrients in that orange, and, you know, <laughs> in no a way, none of us do. So, I mean, we'd be interested to hear if you're out there eating orange pills, but the right. orange peel is actually in the, the powders yeah. that we take. And I, I'm safe. It's safe to say it's changed all of our lives. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I feel so much better. You know, um, I'm mama three and with my first two, my first two kids were so hard and my, my postpartum time was riddled with, um, just depression and anxiety and panic and I felt awful all of the time and I couldn't understand why this brand new baby everyone said I was supposed to be so happy and I just wasn't um I was I was miserable and I didn't I didn't know what I was do I didn't know how to handle it uh we decided to try for a third and the only reason that I was hesitant was because of the postpartum period I knew that if I had to go through that one more time I wasn't going to walk out the other side it was that bad y'all it was really bad um, thankfully a friend of mine was sharing on Facebook some of his wins and, you know, I commented and here I am two and a half years later with this incredible story. Uh, they changed my life. They probably saved my life. My, you know, uh, now two year old son, he just turned two, June 11th, um, is this wild, crazy boy that I have never been sad over ever. I didn't cry. I didn't have any problems nursing him for the first time ever. I felt like a whole mom and then like all of my body was able to do the job it was intended to do. And that is amazing. You know, um, I, I allow myself a little more grace sometimes. <laughs> um, but, but I didn't, I waited. I waited for the moment of dread after I had him for the postpartum to set in and for the awful feelings to consume me. And they didn't. And that was... I mean, that's worth its weight in gold forever Absolutely. and always, you know, um, Brianna, mm -hmm. you have a pretty cool, uh, story on how you noticed a trend in like poor health mm -hmm. and in your work. And so will you tell us a little bit about why you yeah. added in juice less? Absolutely. So I suffered a lot. I'm kind of piggybacking off Trina. I did deal with a lot of postpartum depression. Unfortunately, I, um, did like I figured out Juice Plus while I was already on medication, unfortunately. So I kind of found Juice Plus, gave it a try, and I was able to actually wean myself off to the lower dose of the medication that what I was given for postpartum depression. So I found out my anxiety was so much lower. The things that used to set me off and make me like a crazy mom. Yeah, yeah. They, but I was less there. crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I just felt, I felt so good uh, setting an example for my daughter about, you know, We've talked about this already before. You're yeah. alive. You need to feed your body things that are alive and don't feed it, you know, fake stuff, processed yeah. stuff. That's not what your body needs. So to be able to get off that medication, be able to show that to my daughter, be able to show mm -hmm. it to my friends, be able to be living proof of that is the yeah. most satisfaction. No, absolutely. And you guys have heard uh, Ashley's story about her shredding before the surgeries and the difference that it made, right? You know, it. I don't know. I can't speak enough to the amazing, to the amazingness of this product. So everything you've seen here today costs less than a cup of a fancy, like a fancy cup of coffee, which I think we can all Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, Starbucks. <laughs> Yay. Um, so let me know <laughs> any comments or message me what makes sense for you to move forward. I want to hear back from you guys. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. I always have contact with these guys, but we had to take advantage of them while they were in town. So Thanks for joining us today. Thank you we guys. Appreciate it. Stay healthy. Mm -hmm.